The primary motivation behind developing the EE T1 Osorio was Brazil's desire to establish itself as a leading military power in South America. They aimed to create a modern, sophisticated tank that could compete on the global stage and meet both national defense needs and international market demands. And GISA, a prominent Brazilian defense contractor, was tasked with developing the EE T1 Osorio. The project began in the early 1980s, and NGISA focused on incorporating advanced technology, superior firepower, and robust armor to create a competitive main battle tank. The EE T1 Osorio underwent extensive testing to ensure its capabilities. These tests included trials in various terrains, firing exercises, and durability assessments to prove the tank's effectiveness in combat scenarios. Let's dive into the technical specifications of the EE T1 Osorio. Mass, 46 tons. Length, 10.2 meters, 33.5 feet. Width, 3.26 meters, 10.7 feet. Weapons, equipped with a 105 mm L7 rifle gun or 120 mm smoothbore gun, and secondary armament includes two 7.62 mm machine guns. Armor, composite and spaced armor designed to withstand various threats. Speed, 70 km per hour, 43 miles per hour. Range, 550 km, 342 miles. These specs position the Osorio as a formidable opponent on the battlefield. One of the standout features of the EE T1 Osorio was its versatility. It was designed to accommodate different main guns based on the client's needs, making it an attractive option for international buyers. The EE T1 Osorio required a crew of four the commander, gunner, loader, and driver. This setup was standard for main battle tanks of its time. While the EE T1 Osorio did not see action during World War II, it was designed with the lessons of past conflicts in mind, aiming to provide superior performance in modern warfare scenarios. Despite its impressive design, the EE T1 Osorio had its drawbacks. Its heavy reliance on foreign technology and components made it vulnerable to international market fluctuations and supply chain issues. Additionally, the tank's high cost limited its appeal to potential buyers. To address these issues, NGISO explored options to domestically produce more components and sought partnerships to reduce costs. However, these efforts were not enough to secure large-scale production and international sales. In the end, only a handful of E T1 Osorio tanks were produced. Despite its potential, the project was ultimately unable to secure the necessary orders to continue production. The EE T1 Osorio remains a fascinating chapter in the history of tank development, showcasing Brazil's ambition to become a key player in the global defense industry. While it didn't achieve the success it aimed for, the Osorio's legacy lives on as a testament to innovation and the pursuit of military excellence. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more military history content. Let us know in the comments what other tanks or military vehicles you'd like us to cover next. See you in the next video.